Okay, it's time to burn some calories and have some fun. So let's start with your feet together and just hinge at the hip. Here we go. Take it down and up. Each time you sink down, sink a little further to those hips. Weight is on the heel. Let's add an arm. It just goes straight back, opposite arm. So first it's the right arm, and then it's the left. Now remember, as you go down, pull that navel to the spine. Let's add a twist to this. So the arm goes back, and you twist over your shoulder. Back and over. Give me four more, just like this. Take it back. Just warming up the body, burning some, burning some calories, building some heat, both arms back. Take it up, overhead. Take it up and overhead. Make the movement bigger. If you want to, come up on your toes now. Take it down, up on the toes. Stretch it out. Now this time, just keep it forward, straight to me. Take it down and up, down. Nice and fluid. Should feel really good. You have four more like this. Last two. We're going to take this into a lunge, so step out to your right. Step right, now left, side to side. Make it a little bigger each time. Sink down, come up. Down, stretch up. Think powerhouse. Now add some arms. Overhead, take it up, over, and reach. Ready? Nice and pretty. When you come up, shoulders go down. You got it. Fluid. Give me four more like this. Four. Last two. Now just hold it on your right. Just lunge it out here. Come back to center. Down. Think tall. Okay, let's start to add a knee to this and start to reach. And reach it out. Think tall. Take down. Reach it up. You can even come up on that toe. And breathe. Another four like this. Down, up. Last two. We're going to bring our feet together. Switch sides. Lunge it out. Come to center. Same thing on this side. Start to build it up. Knee comes up. Reach it out. And now lengthen. Go for it. Okay, give me four more, just like this. It's down, up, down. We have two more. You're We're working. Go that right leg, I want you to take that behind you. Lean over, support yourself on your elbows. Tuck the pelvis under. And from here, lift the leg behind you, hip squared off. And now lift and hold. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Lift and hold. Abdominals are lifted. Tailbone is tucked under. Keep that tailbone down, abdominals lifted. Lift and hold, lift and hold, lift and hold. Hold it there, now hold it and just hold it right there. Hold it, hold it. Give me another 10, pulse it up, and nine, and eight, and make it tight. And really find that little apple, that really little roundness in your butt right there. That standing leg is bent. Keep it there, four, three, two, and one. Now pull it in there, and what I want you to do is start to think about bringing that leg toward the midline. So pull it up and bring it toward the midline. And up and bring it toward the midline. Up, bring it to center. Take it up and bring it to center. And up. Now, let's hold it right here. Let's stop for a second. Make sure the abdominals are lifted. Tuck the tailbone slightly and keep that tuck. Keep it really tight. And now bring it up and to the midline. And up and to the midline up and to the midline. Bring it up and really engage the inner thigh. Take it up and engage the inner thigh. Up. So you're really working the butt, you're working the inner thigh. It's brilliant! I love it! Hold it there, now hold it right there. Now take the foot and take it six, four to six inches outside the midline. Notice the hips are still squared off. You still have the tuck. From there, you're gonna lift. Toes are still pointing down. Don't start to arch the back. Don't take it in the lower back. And the way that you do that is you use those abdominals. Really pull that belly button to the spine and that's gonna engage those abdominals. And lift it, you only have 10 more. You've gone a little too fast on me though. Up and hold, up and hold, up and hold. Five more, you can hang on. Give me five, 
This is where you get all this definition. This is where you're gonna get that roundness and that curve in your butt and hold it there and drop it down. And let's do the other side, shake it out. I'm glad I didn't have to do that. Okay, now supporting yourself on your opposite leg, so on your left leg. Let's take it down and bring it up. Take it down and find that range of motion low and squeeze up. And remember, anytime you want to, you can hold on right here and now just squeeze it up. Take it down and squeeze it up. And take it down and squeeze and hold. And when you want to release that hand, just come here and use that balance to engage that inner thigh. Take it down, squeeze and hold. Take it down, squeeze and hold. You ready? I want just two more here. One and two. Great. Now let's turn toward the chair. Support yourself on your elbows. From here, tuck the tailbone, extend the leg back, and now take it out. And now let's just lift. And lift and hold. And lift and hold. And lift and hold. Lift it up. And anytime you think that you're getting taken in your back, just take yourself, adjust, abdominals in, and keep the movement going. Uh, lift and hold, lift and hold, lift and squeeze. Squeeze it tighter, lift and squeeze. And each time you think about squeezing your buttocks, the same time think about pulling the belly button to the spine. Okay, hold it up there, hold it. And now lift and squeeze. Lift and take it right into the midline. Engage the inner thigh, up, inner thigh. Up, inner thigh, up, inner thigh, up and squeeze. And not only squeeze the upper part of the leg, think about the standing leg, which is slightly bent right now. That slightly bent leg is squeezing together. Up and squeeze it together. Come on, give me four more. And three, and two, and one. Now take the leg out to the side, about